Hi, I'm Frank Gilmore from FXG Automotive in Baldwin. Um, a customer brought in this 2005 Honda Pilot to me. Um, the complaint was that the D light on the dash was flashing and the transmission was not shifting. Uh, it was stuck in third gear. Um, so I pulled out my Autel DS708, uh, configured it to this car, read the code. Um, there's only one code stored, it was P0970 for clutch pressure control, solenoid circuit, low input. I broke out my information, a wiring diagram for that circuit, checked the circuit and the circuit was fine. I tried to generate codes by pulling other sensors and I wasn't able to generate any other, any other codes. Um, I ultimately determined that the PCM was no good. I called my local Honda dealer and they told me that the new computer was over $1,000 and that um, it was on national backwater. So I was left with trying to get an, an, a PCM and the only thing I was able to come up with was a used one. All right, so the used PCM is what I installed, is what I'm going to install into this car and I'm gonna show you the steps necessary in order to do so. For the sake of saving some time, not all screens are shown. In step one, we'll go to the control unit in main groups and select PGM-FI. Now select replace ECM PCM. The DS708 will read the data and pull out the engine oil life and store it in the DS708. You can now remove the defective PCM and install the used replacement PCM. Next, the DS708 will go through the process to write the information to the replacement PCM completing step one. Step two is the VIN check function. This is a very important procedure. A code for a VIN mismatch will occur if not performed. First select VIN check and input the VIN of the car using the keyboard. Once it is entered into the new PCM, it will show complete. For step three, you want to check to make sure that the VIN has truly been written into the replacement PCM. In order to do this, go into Vehicle Info, and then Vehicle ID Number. You should see the correct VIN displayed on top. If this is correct, move on with to Step 4. Step 4 is the Immobilizer. Go to Immobilizer in the System menu. Select Immobilizer Setup, and then select Replace ECM PCM. The DS708 will display the Immobilizer type and continue to go through the process of syncing the key codes from the Immobilizer Control Unit to the new PCM. Upon completion, the DS708 will display the registration of the immobilizer codes into the immobilizer unit has been completed. Turn ignition off. You now should be able to start the vehicle in order to verify. Step five is the PCM reset. Select PGM-FI in the system menu and then ECM PCM reset. This will clear the codes and reset the PCM. Once cleared, it will show complete. For step six, while still in the PGM-FI module, select adjustment in the PCM menu, then select crank pattern, and then crank pattern clear. After crank pattern clear is performed, go back to crank pattern learning. The DS708 will display the necessary conditions in order to perform the crank learn. The instructions will appear on the next screen in order to successfully complete the crank pattern learn. Follow these instructions while the DS708 is still connected to the OBD2 connector. This whole process takes about one to two minutes and will confirm completion. In order to verify crank learn, go back to PCM, live data, and take a look at the CKP pulser F slash B learn, and it should now show completed. The last step, step seven, is the idle learn. To do this, simply idle the car for approximately 10 minutes with no loads, then turn the key off for one minute. So I hope this video was helpful, and it's just showing you one of the many features of the DS708. Um, I have many scan tools, and by far this one, uh, for, the, well, for the money, does way more than any other scan tool I've had and it just keeps getting better every day. So get yourself a DS708 and you won't be sorry.